Hey guys, you want to come in? Got another battle replay for you on Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges, and we have a massive 4v4 siege on the settlement of Rome. Oh god. Town center for Rome. Right over there. All right, guys. Let us take a look at some of the armies. I see some of their facts. Some of the some of the unit. Oh, wait a second. We got something coming out here. What is that? Iberian swordsman coming out of the gate for Arvaki. All right, but I think the Levy Freeman are going to pull back from that. Okay, so uh, the four defenders that we have. One is Arvaki, obviously right there, being commanded by Mo. Then we have a Massilia. Oh, sorry, Chimeria being commanded by American Duck. There's his artillery. Winging all the way down over here, we have a Lusitani being commanded by Teddy Koala, and somewhere inside this settlement, we have the one and only Gorm Mjolnir. I think this video is, oh, sorry, I think this battle is actually from one of his live streams a while back, so wanted to give a special shout out to Mr. Gorm, of course. Getting it onto the attackers, we do start off first here with RDI being commanded by Anores, and he has brought seven units of Lyrian Noble Hoplites, one of those being his general. Four units of Illyrian levies, three Illyrian marines, two Illyrian raiders, which are actually sitting way back over there. You guys can see their name right there. Uh, and he also has three units of slave slingers. Then we have an Arverni here being commanded by Yar. I is a pirate. And he has brought six units of chosen swordsmen, three Celtic warriors, two Osworn Woes being his general, two levy freemen, one heavy horse, one, I'm sorry, four Gallic hunters tucked away in the corner there. And he does have a giant ballista. Swinging into the middle, we have a Seleucid being commanded by Quentin Titan 026, I believe. He has brought seven units of Thorax Swordsmen, seven Hillmen. General is a Hellenic Cataphract. Oof, crazy general there. Four units of Syrian Archers. He has also brought a Giant Ballista, which actually he's lost a couple of pieces. And then we do have a Carthage sitting over here. Carthage being commanded by Son of Mars. And he has brought three units of Italian swordsmen, three Samnite warriors, three Skatari, three Libyan infantry, two Iberian swordsmen. General is a bodyguard. He also has three units of Cretan archers, one giant ballista, and a Celtic light horse. Whew, that was a lot to say, guys. All right, let's see uh, what goes on in the replay. All right, so immediately zooming in over here, we have some of the Illyrian Marines that have moved up, some of the, some of the uh, Illyrian levies there as well. Looks like the Illyrian Marines trying to get some shots off. Yes, they are. They are throwing into these Iberian swords. We're going to try and start knocking them down. The ballista over here is firing. I don't know what he's firing at, though, but he does have 30. Oh, he's killed. shooting at the gate. Oh, what a hit right there. Massive bomb into that Iberian swordsman unit. So it looks like the defender, at least Arvaki, out over on this side. Marines still tossing some more of their javelins. Another unit coming in of Illyrian levies there to make their way over here. So it looks like Arvaki's going to have a couple units. Oh, wait a second. We got a charge. Oh, my God. That was dis that was decimating. Oh, look at that. We got a slinger on the wall there, too. I didn't even notice that guy originally. Uh, yeah, that was a decimating charge. Absolutely huge charge. Massive javelin volley there as well. Oh, we got a little one. Never mind. They're dead. They all just died. Oh, that guy got thrown. That guy. Oh. Oh, nasty. All right, let's get back in the center over here. Epirus has moved out, so there is Epirus. We actually see them now. Uh, what do we have out here? We have some Thoreo Spears, Levy Pikemen, Royal Peltas outside. Italian Spears, Thoreo Spears, Italian Spearmen, and another unit of Thoreo Spears. So Epirus definitely showing some units there. And back over here, we actually have some Lusitani coming out. We have some Iberian Swordsmen making their way out, taking on the Italian Swordsmen of Carthage. Up on the wall, the ballistas there is not firing anymore. Did he lose his crew? No, they still have three out of four, so he could still be firing. I don't know if he actually is firing. Oh, he's got 81 kills, so maybe he's out. No, he's still got another shot landed. Oh, Celtic Light Horse coming in. Lutzani's going to try and run. Oh, no, they're surrounded. They are surrounded. They are not getting away. And Light Horse charging in there as well. So, unfortunately, Iberian Swordsman going to get taken out. They got 57 kills, though, so not... The worst amount of kills for an Iberian swordsman unit. Uh, another unit here taking on some more of the mercenary Italians. Obviously, the towers are just unloading on these Carthaginian troops. What else do we have here? 
Another unit of the Iberian Swordsman there. Another unit of Iberian Swordsman actually getting onto the walls. Maybe they're getting ready to throw some javelins down. Uh, oh, actually, wait a second. One of the uh, Italian Swordsmen here actually grabbed up this tower. There's only 30 on that tower. Tortoise, but there are 30, now 27 men on that. They are starting to do some damage. I see Epirus is pushing out over here. Whoa! Guys, this is aggressive. Aggressive behavior by the defenders. I love it. Militia Hoplite, Unit of Thoreo Spears, some Sam Knight Warriors now coming out. I'm still shocked. We got Levy Pikeman and a Royal Peltast out here causing damage, causing havoc. Can't believe there's a Royal Peltast outside already. But guys, this is Gorm Mjolnir. He's, he's a crazy man. He's a crazy man. <laughs> I mean that in 100% love. Uh, Gorm, if you end up watching this video, I mean that with 100% love, and I know that you'll understand. Uh, we actually have Noble Fighter General. What else do we have sitting here? Painted Warriors, Katare, Katare, Balearic Slingers, Katare, with some Scythian Hoplites right there. Very cool. Uh, unit of Young Axes actually coming out of the wall. So it does look like RDI was pretty much RDI and maybe a little bit of Arverni. We're able to uh, push away that initial sally out from Arvaki. Let's see. Oh, wait a second. Oh, we got Cav. Three units of step lancers. Is that three? Yeah. Oh, no. One of them is a uh, Scythian hoplite there. Ambushers still back over there. Oh, sorry. Raiders still back over there. Hidden. Okay, cool. Swinging back all the way around over here. Is this still firing? He is not. And he's actually dead. But, I, yeah, he did burn some of the uh, Seleucid artillery. It actually looks like they're done. Zero kills. Why is he pulling them off? He could definitely still be firing here. I don't know why he's pulling them off, but we have the Hillman up here trading javelins back and forth. Mercenary Italian Spearman tossing them away. Actually, no, they didn't throw anything. Hillman going to charge in. Are they coming in for the charge, or are they just getting closer for another jab? Ooh, 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 ooh. We got some slingers right there tossing down on this Hillman unit. Already down to 104 men, but it looks like they started with silver chevrons. What? Hillman started with silver chevrons? That's insane. Wow. Uh, over here at the Rayo Spears. Oh, we got an Italian, so Italian Spearman. It's only 15 charge bonus, but I think this Hillman unit's going to get taken out here. There's 122 of them, though. 24 kills. Doing some good down. Oh, not really doing a whole lot, I was going to say. I thought they were doing more, but only fi only five of the uh, Thoreo Spears have been killed. Melee defense, guys. Square formation raises up their melee. Look at that. 70 melee defense. Very high. Right there, the other Thoreos right there, it sets at 55. So it's 15 points extra going into square. Very handy. Very, very handy. All right, what do we have over here? Did the, uh, where's the uh, Royal Peltast? Are they running back inside? Did they already run back inside? There's the Levy Pikeman. Sam Knight Warriors coming back in. Another unit of Levy Pikeman there. Uh, actually, we have some more Lusitani coming outside. What happened to the Carthage force? Oh, I guess he pulled away. Oh, no, they came over here. I didn't even see that. I mean, I did originally see the guerrilla units over here. Two units of Lusitani guerrillas taking on two units of Libyan infantry. That is going to be a really tough fight. Yeah, that's going to really be a hard fight for these guerrillas to win. They might be able to come away with some kills, but probably not going to be as effective. Looks like they're trying to pull back. Yeah, the stronger unit is trying to pull back, but there's only so far they're going to be able to go. They're really not going to be able to move very far. So that's going to be unfortunate for Lusitani. I get, I'm guessing maybe he was hoping they were going to stay hidden for a little while longer, and then maybe he'd be able to come around on the bridge here and come into the back over there. Oh, wait, Carthage moved over here. Oh, that's where all of his units went. I thought they got all destroyed right there. But nope, they are still very much alive. Mercenary Celtic Light Horse there with 85 kills. Not too bad so far for the Light Horse. Let's swing back over here in the middle, take a look real quick, see how Seleucid's dealing with... Epirus and Epirus is due. Oh my god. Slingers, 101 kills there. This Slinger unit there with 125. Got some Gallic Hunters here. Oh, no, Cam I'm sorry. Camerian Heavy Archers firing 28 kills. Another unit of Archers right there for Epirus. Looks like they're getting ready to line up. Maybe start firing into the Seleucid units as well. And that's what they're... Oh, they're firing at the Syrians. Yeah, they're definitely firing at the Syrians. Now, Syrians, again, we all know the Syrian Archers have 40 armor. So it's going to take a little bit for them to get through. Let's get back over here, see how RDI is doing. Uh, he's actually got a unit up there. He's starting to burn the gate down, but he's having a little bit of trouble because there's, I'm guessing, units keep coming in and out of the gate, so they're not going to really be able to throw torches at it while it's open. Uh, but Slingers again over here firing into some of the Chosen Swordmen. Killed about nine, right? Yeah, 11. Killed 11 of them, so they're going to fall back. Not a bad idea. Uh, Lyrian Nobles here. I mean, if the defenders choose to fire the Lyrian Noble Hoplites, go right ahead. 
Armor 115. So it's going to take a little while to get through that armor. I'll just be completely honest. I have definitely been one to try and fire at them before, and it just doesn't work as well. Raiders still just kind of hanging out over there. Nothing really showing from them just yet. Ooh, what is that? That is a Celtiberian cavalry unit. Okay, good stuff there. Noble Fighter General still up there. Okay, RDI now starting to finally knock down some walls. Our, uh, our Verney starting to knock down some walls as well, or actually knocking down walls. We have some Celtic warriors making their way through. 124 men with 170 kills. Oh my god. And they got young axes right here. Oh, that's... I kind of feel bad for this young axe unit. I'm not going to lie. I kind of feel bad for him because yeah, the Celtic warrior unit is just going to chew right through them. Oh, archers are firing too. Oh, that's just... That's just mean. <laughs> that's just mean to the young axes. How do you expect them to uh, mature into old axes or even, like, middle-aged axes? No, oh, it's not going to happen. Yeah, they're dead. They're dead. Back over here in the center. Let's see. Seleucid. Yeah, these archers are firing, but they're just getting mauled. They're getting murdered right now. With the heavy archer unit. Oh, I guess they left. Regular archers here, though, for Epirus. Firing away. 60 kills so far. Doing a lot of damage. Down to 84. 50 kills. More of them dropping now. Down to 70. 14 more kills on that volley. That's insane. Slingers over here firing away as well. Yeah, these archers are not having a fun time at all. Not having a fun time. And I actually... Oh, he's got two more units over there. Oh, no, no, no. Seleucid's got more stuff over here. Okay, I thought... It looked like Seleucid was gone. But no, he still has some units left. But I don't really see a whole lot of Thorax left. Where did the rest of his Thorax swordsmen go? He had seven of them. What's he got left? One, two, three, four. He's got four, but some of them are really down, down to 24. That's still full unit, 160. This unit there, 160. That unit there is still uh, 158. So he's still got four strong, well, three strong units of uh, Thorax swordsmen left. His general's still very strong. Wall has now been knocked down, so we have some Thorax for Solution Stone to make their way forward. Looks like Carthage is actually making their way back over here. So he's got some of his army over there, very small portion of his army over here. But these are three Samnite warriors, very strong infantry, but they have high armor. That's going to be a big problem. They have 95 armor. Lusitani loves armor. Love units that have armor. I just want to show you guys here real quick. This is Iberian Swordsman. Let's just take a look and see what the Iberian Swordsman AP is. Five. 5 AP, I'm going to guess that he's got some veteran uh, veteran shield warriors in there as well. I think I said the name of that unit wrong. But I think he's, I, I would imagine he's probably got some in there. But all right, here we go. RDI has made their way through the breach. Noble Hoplites getting in there. Noble Hoplites get, ooh, this unit's already down. But they have 136 kills. Wow, they are getting a lot of kills. But oh, that's going to be nasty. Skatari, 73 kills. They've definitely thrown all their javelins. This unit here with 128. Wow, there's a lot of kills going on in this battle right now. Balearic Slingers up here starting to unload. Six kills for them, firing down into this Leary Noble Hoplite. Now, they've already been in combat a little bit, so their armor's affected a little bit. A little bit, so they're taking some damage. They're definitely going to start taking some wear down damage from those Slingers. They just lost five more, six more now. Seven, eight. Wow, they are starting to lose some pretty high numbers. Uh, let's see what's going on over here. I think that has been knocked in, but they haven't started neutralizing the gate yet. There we go. That hoplite unit actually going up onto the walls, trying to sneak their way up onto the wall. That might have been a bad move because they just got charged and kind of flank charged by Skatare. That noble hoplite starting to lose numbers pretty solid, pretty quickly. Going to need some more infantry in here. Arverni might need to throw some more in there. But speaking of Arverni, look at them. Coming around over here. We actually have a Noble Hoplite way up here as well. Just starting to get to work. 160 men in the unit. They've got six kills already. Still strong unit, but more archers and slingers. Yep, Chimerian heavy archers firing away. Probably shooting at the Noble Hoplites. Maybe trying to get some shots at these Chosen Swordsmen as well. Swing back. Oh, what is that? That is an Epirus General. A Hellenic Royal Cavalry General. And he just came out and did damage how many kills? 79 kills. Syrian archers probably going to be gone. Levy Freeman still holding on. Still holding on, but the, yep, the cavalry is going to pull away. He's probably just going to come all the way back and get some rear charges in here. If he even needs to. Yeah, the Thorax 72. I mean, probably going to just come back and charge into him. Just to finish that unit off. Then we have this unit over here. 
142 men. He's probably, yeah, I'm going to guess, I can't say this for sure, but it looks like maybe he's going to bounce there and then come around and ping pong into that unit there because, I mean, very heavy shot cavalry, rear charges, that's going to end your day. That's going to end your day. Really going to cause a lot of problems. But Seleucid's not done. Seleucid is still moving in. He's actually got his Hellenic, Cater um, yeah, his Hellenic Cataphract General in there, but they've taken a lot of damage, already down to 48 with only one kill. Another unit of Thorax Swordsmen making their way forward. We have some another unit of Levy Pikemen. Is that the same... No, there's the other Levy Pikeman right there. So he's still got both of his Levy Pikes. This unit here was the one that took the damage originally. He actually came outside. 125 kills with Levy Pikeman. Wow. These guys have kills. They only have five, so they may still have their javelins, which hopefully they use. Hopefully this unit stops and throws some javelins and they don't just charge right in. But it looks like they're just going to walk right into the Pikes. Ah, oh, that's not good. That is not what you want to do. I mean, I know it's a Levy Pikeman unit. It's really not that good. Yeah, fall back. Fall back. They, thankfully, they haven't lost anybody yet. Pikes are going to chase them down. Hellenic Cataphract over there. What is he doing? Oh, he didn't lose anybody. I thought he lost more men. Let's get back over here and see what Carthage is up to. He's actually really starting to press in here. Oh, no. He got through. He broke through the line. Where are the heavier infantry here for Lusitani? Hopefully, he has something. Oh, there they are. Veteran Shield Warriors. Iberian Swordsmen. Iberian Swordsmen. Another unit of Iberian Swordsmen, unfortunately, just standing here. Looks like they're trading back and forth with a Libyan Infantry. Libyan Infantry, 190 kills. Wow, kill counts have been very, very high so far with some of these units. Really, really interesting. Unfortunately, Lusitani, yeah, Lusitani Slinger's just getting mauled. Carthage over here putting in some work. Definitely putting in some work. So Lucid's still alive. Oh, wait a second. Oh, the Hellenic Cataphracts. Or, I'm sorry, Hellenic Royal Cavalry getting into two of the archers here. 57 and 59. And now we got the archers there firing away onto the Hellenic Cataphract General. I think they're dead. Royal Peltas. They should still have javelins, but unfortunately they're in shield wall, but it won't matter. Yeah, there they go. Hellenic Cataphract General has been destroyed. General is now dead. And the second unit of pikes coming over here. Oh, this Thorax Swordsman's going to have a bad day. Throw Javelins. 36 kills. Uh, they killed some. They killed 11, but yeah, they're dead. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that is very unfortunate. They're stuck literally between a rock and a hard place, and the hard place is moving up behind them right now. That unit's done. That sucks. That really sucks. All right, back over here, uh, we found the Lusitani Noble General, so that's good to see. Mercenary Veteran Hopla, oh, not Mercenary Veteran, Mercenary Sam Knight Warriors, another unit of Libyan Infantry there. What do we have? What do we have? Veteran Shield Warriors, Iberian Swordsmen, Iberian Swordsmen, Veteran Shield Warriors, uh, another Iberian Sword, and we do have a Balearic Slinger there. Gorillas? This is Lusitani Gorillas? Yeah, still trying to hold on, but again, Mercenary Sam Knight's just really nasty. Really, really nasty. Let's get back over on this side, though. A lot of fighting still going on. The attackers having, um, I mean, they're fighting some hoplites, so it's going to be a little bit of a fight for them to be able to start to really try and break through here. But RDI is doing a pretty good amount of damage over on this side, getting another unit of his noble hoplites to come in here. Chosen Swords doing work. 44 and 40. They look both. No, that one's out of 96. This is a full, yeah, that's a full unit right there. Oh, nice charge, Skitare. Rear charge in onto that. Chosen Swordsman, very nice. Well done there. I'm actually seeing the uh, Slave Slingers. One of them is already wavered with 12 kills. This unit there with only 26. This guy in the fight. Oh, their general's dead. Oh, wow, I just noticed that the RDI general banner wasn't even there. Ooh, that's not good. That is definitely not good. And RDI is starting to really show it. Yeah, they're really starting to show the pain. Morale is not good. General recently died, so it's just been, just happened. Just happened. Lyrian Marine's going to move back. 36 kills. Maybe they still have javelins? Maybe they do. Come on. Let's see. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh. A lot of shields caught them, though. Look at all the javelins in those shields, but they definitely dropped some. They absolutely dropped some. Uh, the Balearic Slingers firing away 232 kills with, with Balearic Slingers. Crazy. 
Noble Fighter General right there. Looks like he's seen some combat. He definitely has. 135 men with 117 kills. Here comes that Celtiberian Cavalry again. And he's just going to charge right in here. Okay. Oh, boy. Here comes the Osworn. Osworn General. Other unit of Osworn coming in. That could be a problem. That could be a problem. Uh, swinging back over here. Looks like Seleucid is... Oh, yeah. Seleucid's gone. He's got one unit of Thorax Swordsman right there. And a half a unit, a little less than a half a unit of Crete, of Syrian archers. So it looks like Seleucid is gone. Uh, so it's kind of down to a, I guess this became a 4v3 in, in favor of the defenders. That is going to be rough for them to try and come back from. Veteran Shield Warriors over here throwing their javelins. Yep, tossing them in there. Tossing those murder sticks into those Sam Knights. Trying to knock them down as much as they can. Killing, getting some good kills on that Sam Knight unit. Uh, Libyan infantry, unfortunately, though, too strong. Too strong. That Iberian swordsman can only hold for so long. I mean, with an armor of 15, they can only hold for so long. They definitely did some damage over here, though. Wow, yeah, Sam Knight's down. Sam Knight's down to 42. That unit there with 84. And this unit of Libyan infantry with 53. But they have 307 kills. Two, 325, 231, 140, 277. Wow, Carthage is putting in work. Oh, and they just killed the noble general. Is that Archer helping? Yes, it is. Cretan Archer there, 99 kills. We have another unit right there of the uh, Liberty Infantry, 136. Wow, look at all the Lusitani nobles. Oh, Lusitani men dead. That's rough. Carthage General starting to run in like he owns the place. Uh, no idea where Epirus went. No clue where Epirus went, but look at this. Ooh, they left a ram over here. Don't capture the gate. Don't capture the gate. Just neutralize it and get out of it. Don't capture it. You're going to give your position away. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Just walk through. Just keep walking through. This unit will be able to follow you. It's neutralized. And the gate's broken down. Please move. Oh, well. All right. I'm going to give you guys a little hint here. Uh, so, yeah. When they capture the gate, you guys probably already know this. But when you when they capture the gate, it's going to give an alert to the defenders saying we've they've taken a gate or we've lost one of our gates. I forget exactly what they say. Uh, but, yeah. There it is, captured. So they now know that there's something over here. That's rough. I mean, he could have walked right in here and just strolled all the way over to the town center, completely undetected. Ooh, okay. Well, still fighting going on over here, though. Ooh, actually, yeah, they're doing pretty good against the, the attackers now. Chosen Swordsman taking a lot of damage down to 62, 64 there. This unit with 92 kills. Oh, they're breaking through, though. They're breaking through, but I see Celt Iberian Cavalry coming back again. No! Looks like um, RDI is down to their final unit of Noble Hoplites. Yes, it is. That is their final unit of Noble Hoplites. They 27 kills, 135 men, but now we have a unit of Illyrian Marines freed up, and they're going to come crashing into the back of a unit of Chimerian Noble Infantry, which, again, another really nasty unit. They don't have as much armor. They have, what, 35 less armor, I think? Yeah, 80 to 115. They have 35 less armor, but they are still very, very nasty. Chimerian Noble Infantry can get a lot of damage. Oh, we got a heavy horse inside. How many do they have? 161 kills, 69 giggity. There's 69 horses left in the unit. Nice. Was able to get that in there. Uh, Seleucid's so starting to make this unit, uh, bringing up the Syrian Archer unit. They have no ammo. Oh, maybe they do. Do they still have ammo? They do. Oh, they do have some ammo. Okay, good. 71 kills, but they're getting hit from the, ar from the uh, Archer Towers. I don't know if they're going to make it in. These two Archer Towers are firing. This Archer Tower is firing. This one may start firing at them as well. So I don't think the Syrian Archer is going to get inside. Thorax Swordsman, I mean, maybe he could come in. I mean, the gate's neutralized. So at least he's not getting shot. That's a good thing. Uh, but, oh, yeah, this is not looking good. More of the Lusitani Nobles. Lusitani. Oh, they got murdered. Oh, did they not even fight? Did, did Lusitani DC? Oh, I think he did. He's got a veteran shield warrior just sitting here. I wonder how long ago he DC'd. Oh, does Carthage come over here and kill this, or do they just move on? Looks like they're just moving on. Yeah, they don't really care that much. They don't care much enough. Okay. Oh, I'm starting to see some Epirus units. I saw an Epirus unit right there. Still also have the uh, Slinger unit there, but look at this. Oh, only one of them survived. What happened to the other Raider? Where'd they die at? They get killed? What is that? 
That's Katari. Where's the Illyrian? Oh, there they are. Yeah, they're dead. Illyrian Raiders got run over. 44 for the Celt Iberian. We have a Slinger unit right there with 103. So they are making their way back to the town center, which... Oh, the town center's already defended. Archers, Royal Peltas, Sam Knight Warriors, a Scorpion, the Rayo Spears. Ooh, and I think he's still got those Levy Pikes. I'm kind of interested to see how many kills those Levy Pikes have. Because, as we remember, right over here... Yeah, I was thinking it was right here. That unit of Thorax got murdered. Who's that? What is that? Helena Counterfract General still th just the horse running around trying to find a way to get out. I want to go home. I want to go home. I want to go home. All right, so victory has been attained for the moment over here for RDI and Arverni. Ooh, what is this? Got some Scythian hoplites chasing over here. Maybe they're going to try and get that ki uh, that, uh, high, that heavy horse. I almost said high horse. You know, gonna maybe try and get that heavy horse. I think he's going to pull away. Yeah, definitely would be a better idea to pull away. Uh, that was also the Celt Iberian Cavalry right over there. We do see the Raiders, though, starting to pull away. They're starting to come around this way, which they... Mm, oh, I think they can come up here. So if they come along this road, I think they can come up this way and get around. Yeah, they can come all the way around here, or they can come up the staircase and come around that way. Okay, so that Raider unit is making their way forward. Uh, Carthage, yeah, like I, th I thought, they were just going to leave that, that shield warrior there. So they're making their way forward over here. Balance of power has dramatically shifted in favor of the uh, attackers now. Uh, but we do still have a lot of Chimera moving back. Yeah, he's got his archers there, 37 kills. That unit with only 67. That unit there with 27. So yeah, Chimera and heavy archers still have a lot of ammo. Uh, Skatari there, another unit Skatari moving back. Still pretty strong, 128 in that unit that you need with 100. Oh, it's a full unit. Full unit. Very, 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 very nice. All right, so uh, Carthage looks like they're just going in. They're not waiting for their ally. He's just moving on. Oh, what is that? Another Scythian hoplite? Yes, but unfortunately, so for all of this, unfortunately, they're exhausted. So they're not going to be able to fight very well. So these Samnites are probably going to just thrash this unit of uh, Scythian hoplites. It's going to charge them in, though. We maybe try and get them into their hoplite wall to give them a little bit of a chance, but I don't think they're really going to have very much of a chance. Yeah, Carthage is probably just going to do that. Charge a second unit in there, and this Libyan infantry is probably going to make their way around. But, oh, look at that. Noble fighter general for Artavaki making his way back. 120 kills, so I don't think he's done anything more. 120 kills, 135 men left in the unit. They can cause damage, but... I don't know if they're going to be able to cover that much, take that much down. Yeah, stop there. He's kind of trapped. That Arvaki general is kind of trapped. Arverni's still making his way forward. RDI making their way around over here. Still with the skirmishers, or I'm sorry, the raiders there. Heavy horse making his way forward. He's exhausted as well. But the heavy horse could maybe pull a trick here. He might be able to get around over there and get into the archers. Maybe. Oh, wait, nope. Kamiri noble general. Noble infantry, I should say, making their way over there. And there is the unit of Balearic Slingers coming away and the Kyber uh, celt Tiberian Cavalry right there. 47 men left in the unit, 44 kills. So still have cavalry for the attackers. That's not a bad thing at all. Uh, Scythian Hoplite still trying to hold on as long as they can. Looked like the Noble Fighter General is maybe going to get in there and fight. But unfortunately, he's getting shot in the back as he's retreating. He's running away. We have Scythian Hoplites now making their way over here as well. I think those units are going to die. The Noble General and the Scythian Hoplite. I mean, post them up. Let them rest up as much as you possibly can. Try and get them back up to fresh. And maybe try and get them get some kills. Oh, what is this? Slinger unit. 255 kill Slinger unit. Yeah, they're... Mm, I don't know if the Celtic Warriors are going to live long enough. No, they'll live long enough. Oh, maybe they'll route, though. They might route. Uh, Chosen Swordsman over here. Getting into some more of the slingers there. We actually have the, the most bravest crew in the game. Uh, the ballista crew making their way over here. Carthage said, no, nah, you did your job. 153 kills. You stay there. We don't need you. We don't need your help. Uh, Epirus over here. Yeah, archers. I mean, the archers are definitely outclassed. They're definitely outclassed, but Ar oh, hold on a second. Epirus is taking it to Carthage. He is charging out. Royal Peltast over here getting into the Skatare. Yeah, actually hit both of the units there. Uh, we have some Thoreo Spears charging in over here. Maybe going to try and help the Scythian Hoplite. That could actually encourage the uh, Noble General to come back. The Noble Fighter General 
might want to refresh himself. He's tired. Or, or he could charge in, use his headhunt, and the other one that I always forget what it's called, the battle rhythm, and then refresh himself using that second wind. Could get some really good damage. Actually, Carthage starting to lose some units here. Starting to waver away. Libyan infantry right there. 51 men down to 187. Scythian hoplites still making their way over here. Uh, Arverni's kind of stopped. He's Well, no, he's making his way around over here. He's following RDI, making their way around over here. We still have the Illyrian raiders and the unit of heavy horse right there. I wonder if anything's still here. Oh, there they are. There's those two units of levy pikes. 195 and a 47. So this unit, yeah, definitely won that contest between the two of them. Uh, he is outside of the town center, though, but you can see that he's got the pikes facing in this direction, so he's trying to defend against anything that could be coming in that direction. But, I mean, oh, look at this! The noble fighter general got around the line. He's actually taking on some Iberian swordsmen, getting into this Cretan archers as well, and look at the line shattering. Oh, my God, Libyan infantry gone. Samnite warriors gone. I mean, they may come back. What is in there, 57, 40? They might come back. They may come back from routing, but Epirus... Epirus is doing some work right now. Whoa. Celt Iberian Cavalry coming in. This, you want to go right there. Yep. Get those archers. Get those archers slamming into the Iberian infantry. Here comes the Celtic Light Horse for Carthage. He charges his way over here. 90 kills for him. 91 kills, I should say. Uh, Scythian Hoplites right there. They could get into that mercenary Celtic Light Horse, though. It's not really doing damage to them. It's about half the unit. 45 men left in that unit. 45 horses left in the unit. Celt Iberian Cavalry starting to do some damage. Epirus is really pressing out. Wow, he's doing amazing. 39 men left in the unit, 147. They have another unit, Skitare, coming up to help out. That Royal Peltast might want to pull back. Might want to pull back. The Rayo Spears, Skitare, I mean, they're actually, they're still fresh. So, yeah, keep them in there. Keep them fighting. Fight until they are dead. Oh, they just hit that... Uh, Use the whip ability as well. But look at this. The noble fighter general still pressing in. He's in the middle of fighting Cretan archers, but he wants more. He wants more blood. Charging into a unit of Iberian swordsmen. Noble fighter general, 67 left. Almost 200 kills. I think the light horse is still here. Uh, the Celt Iberian cavalry is still there as well. Wow, this is crazy. This is really crazy. A lot of Arverni is still just sitting over here. Oh, no, they're making their way forward. Uh, let's see what's going on back over here. Threo Spears... The Cre uh, Chimerian Heavy Archers firing away onto a unit of the Illyrian Raiders. Decent amount of infantry coming around over here, though. We have the Heavy Horse, Osworn General, second unit of Osworn, is still in the battle. I thought that 249 kills, they've lost six men. Guys, if you guys ever thought that, that Osworn weren't good, I mean, come on. 250 kills, they lost six guys. Six guys. The general lost seven. He's got 108, but, well, you know, it happens. Sometimes it happens. Just trying to be a little funny there. Oh, God. The car. Oh, God. Wow. The Hellenic Royal Cavalry. I didn't even see where he came from. Charging into the archers there. We got the, the uh, Libyan infantry coming over here, though. That might not work out. Hellenic Royal Cavalry switching into the diamond, lowering their melee defense, unfortunately, but he's raising their melee attack, so it's 55 now. So they're hitting a good amount of times, and they're still winning the fight, actually. They're still winning the fight at the moment. And I fear that he's going to start losing here shortly. Oh, wait, no, the general's bodyguard's pulling away. General bodyguard pulling away. Oh, yeah, no, he's losing slightly. He's going to get out. He has to get out of there. He's got to get out of there. Run, run, run. Carthage general keeping him in the fight, though. I don't think he's going to be able to get away, but still 318 kills, guys. This has been a bloody, probably one of the more bloody battles. I'm just going by kill counts. This battle has been bloody. And I honestly cannot wait to see the end screen here. Five and a half minutes left. Heavy horse barreling down the streets over here. Already 201 kills with only losing 12 horses. And they are about to have a field day on some archers there. Archers getting ready. They're going to get hammered. Yeah. Get them, heavy horse. Bounce off. Going to this Katare. Yes, they are. Ooh. Actually, the Rayo Spears getting a little javelin volley off on the corner there. That was a nice little volley. But they are wrecked. 246 now. Oh, the heavy horse. Uh, Hellenic Cataphract is still there. 
I thought he was dead. Oh my god, he just broke the Carthage general. Is this going to be a def... No way. Oh wait, here comes the heavy horse now, going after the Hellenic Cataphract general. Good charge. I mean, the general definitely got the uh, has the major, major advantage in the charge bonus. Creeping down that kill on the heavy horse. Libyan infantry needs to get in there. Libyan infantry needs to help this heavy horse out. But as long, the longer the heavy, uh, the Hellenic cataphract stays in the battle, that could be. Yeah. Oh wait. Libyan infantry now getting into the back of that cavalry, that cavalry general, but. Already, uh, Arvaki coming over here. And we actually have Slingers firing. Yeah, we do. Arvaki, Balearic, Slingers firing away. Javelin toss. Let's see. Can the Hellenic Cataphract... Can the Hellenic Royal Cavalry General live? No, he broke. Oh, and I think the whole general broke. I think he's, I think the general actually died. Yeah, general recently died. All right, so back over here. Yeah, look at this. The attacker's coming around. They're about to start... Ca yeah, they're captured in the town center. Ooh, No. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. We got more Emperors coming back, though. Sam, that warrior's making their way over here. It looks like the Pikes are moving up. Yeah, they are moving forward a little bit. Oswo and General coming down. Still have the Chimerian Heavy Archers. They look like they still have good ammo. Yeah, they do. Yes, they do. 68, 27, and 37. They still have ammo. Chimerian Noble Infantry General right there as well. This fight is not over. This fight is not over because, they, I mean, the attackers, they still have two Oswarn there. This is all ranged right there. But I think the Galax... Oh, yeah, no, the Galax have a lot of ammo left. I think the Slave Slingers still do, too. They do. The Slave Slingers still have a lot of ammo. Pikes falling back, but they're getting dropped because the General died. I mean, they're also getting dropped because they're Pikes. They don't have a whole lot of armor. Armor is 60, but... All right, what do we got here? Chimerian Noble General taking on an Osworn General. Ooh, that is a fight. If that noble general gets this, they did. Got into the high blood. No, 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 no. Don't be weird. Oh, they're being weird. They put him into hoplite wall, but they're facing the wrong way. Scorpion going. Where's Scorpion? There he is. 63 kills. He's firing away. Good stuff. Keep firing. Hit that Osworn. Hit that second Osworn right there. Mercenary Sam Knight Warriors tried to do what they could do, but Lyrian Raiders looks like they were the bane of that unit. Uh, Pikes, oh, that's the Thrayo Spear unit making their way forward. Did the other unit of Pikes break? Looks like they did. Now, that's Skitare. Good fighting over here. Actually, Sam Knights and a unit of Skitare still over here. So the defenders still have infantry. They do still have... Oh, there's the Pikes right there. There they are. 195 kills, 59 left in the unit. Good shots going into the Osworn General. Chimerian Noble General trying to run away. Actually, I don't know. He's not trying to run away. He's trying to set up a good line for the Slingers. I mean, for the uh, for the Scorpion and for the Archers. Balearic Slingers making their way up. 305 kills. This unit of Archers, 116. Yeah, Chimerian Archers still have a lot of ammo left. And he's actually charged. The Osworn General's charging in onto the Scorpion. Ooh, he's going to take a lot of damage. I don't think they're going to make it to it, though. No. The Balearic Slingers stopped the General from getting... No, oh, they kind of got in there. They kind of got in there. This Osworn General is getting dropped. Down to 48, and he's wavering. Oh, my God. There's still a lot over here, though. Timer is uh, timer has started. Second Arverni captured the... Or second the attackers captured the town center. The timer started. We are all, we all kind of know that. Oh, look at that. Carthage sending in his, uh, his ballista crew now. All right, what do we got? We got the Noble General making their way forward. Unfortunately, that second unit of Levy Pikemen died. Ooh, gosh. Chimerian Heavy Archer still firing away, though. Looks like they're trying to hit these Oswan as they're making their way forward. Ooh, Slave Slingers cut that General down. Well, he, cut him off. he didn't cut him down. He cut them off. Cut them off. That's what I meant to say. Balearic Slingers making their way in. What infantry do they still have? Oh, not much. Not much. Final unit of Sand Knights over here trying to hold back four units of Chosen Swordsmen. That is going to be a tough fight. That's pretty much a tough fight for any unit to try and do. Balearic Slingers still trying to hold off these Illyrian Raiders. That's not going to work. Chimerian Noble General still trying to hold, but this is it. That's it. That's it. Yep. Town Center capture. That's a Town Center victory. You could see there was still infantry on the defender side. What about... Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be great. Some great kills. 
All right, we're going to start off here with Enores, who was the one that sent the replay in. So, dude, thank you very much. 1337 for him. Uh, 45 with the general. He took a lot of damage, though. Slingers got pretty much beaten up. Slaves, uh, no, his uh, Lyrian levies, I mean, they got one unit got 81. Lyrian marines, 176. Let's take a look at his hoplites. 193. You know, only one of them doing really good. 193, the other unit there with 92. There's an 81. Uh, his Raiders, though, 122 kills. Not bad there. Taking a look at Yar, I is the Pirate with Arverni. 2,953 kills. What a wow. 315 with the General. 271 with the Ballista. 266 Heavy Horse. Uh, his Archers actually didn't really get very many kills. Top unit there was 70. I'm sorry, 84. Uh, his Celtic Warriors, 256. Getting into his Chosens, 148. 156, 123, 252, 226. Levy Freeman, 129, and his other Ros1 there with 291 kills. Then we have Quinton Titan, 026, with 10 of 56 playing as Seleucid. Oh, one kill with the Hellenic Cataphract. Ouch. Uh, his Archer's top unit appears to be 72. Hillman, 92. Thorax Swordsman, 118, 101. We have a Hillman down here for some reason. That's confusing. Uh, then we have Son of Mars, 3,452 kills. Wow. Wow. That's really high. That's pretty high, guys. Uh, his general, unfortunately, got four kills, so he got destroyed. Giant Ballista, 153. Celtic Light Horse, 116. His Archers, 164. 201. 320. Wow. Uh, his Iberian Swordsman didn't get a lot. Top was 86 there. Libyan Infantry, 229, 325, 187. Scutari, 180, 122, 116. Italian Sword, top was a 95. And then his Sam Knights, 340, 341, 261. Wow. Getting into the defenders, we have Gore Mjolnir playing as Epirus. Like I said, 2,678 kills. Wow. 395 with the General. He came in crazy near the end there. Really, really good job. Killing off the Carthage General. That was big. Uh, Greek Scorpion, 106. Archers, 116. Slingers, 258, 274. Whew, great kills with the Slingers. 195 with the Pikes. We already knew that. Sam Knights, 100, 136, 313. And his Royal Peltas, 166. Thoreo Spears, 166, 200. Then we have American Duck with Chimera, 1169. Unfortunately, his uh, Noble General, only 46 kills. One of his Chimera Noble Infantry, though, 130. Uh, his Step Lancers didn't do much of anything. Chimera, you know, uh, Heavy Archers, 135, 89. Scythian Hoplites, I mean, they didn't get a whole lot of kills. One unit there, 99, another unit there with 116. But they held, they definitely held for a time. Uh, and his Young Axes, unfortunately, top unit there was 40. Then we have Mo with 2,823 kills. His General, 285. Scorpion didn't get anything. I didn't even see he had a Scorpion. Uh, Celtiberian Cavalry, 67. Slingers, 196, 327, and 289. Jeez, that's quite a jump, 196 to 327. Uh, his Iberian Swords, one unit there with 124, getting it with his Skitari, 155, 222, 134, 168, 246, 159, and 303. And then, unfortunately, we have Teddy Kowal here, who only was, ended with 666 kills. That's actually kind of creepy that he ended with that number. Um, but, yeah, I think he DC'd. It kind of looked like he DC'd. He got a unit of Veteran Shields with 112 kills. Uh, his General, 46... Yeah, he didn't do very well, but again, I think he DC'd because that final unit of Veteran Shield Warriors didn't even move. So, and I think Carthage got a huge charge into the rest of the infantry that was sitting back there. So, that's a bit of an unfortunate thing, but it was still an amazing battle, in my opinion. That was a really solid fight on both sides, on both sides. I mean, it was really good, really good. Good teamwork, good charges, good angles, good artillery kills, good archer kills, good infantry kills, good cavalry kills. Really, pretty much all across the board. Really solid job by everybody. Uh, but that is going to be the end, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to like the, like the video, share it, drop a comment down. Let me know what you guys thought. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. But that is going to be the end here for me, guys. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. And, as always, until the next one. Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.